Most people struggle with taking medication, especially when it's long term, and even more so when it could have mind or mood altering side effects. Nobody wants to feel like a zombie or like it's going to change their personality. I can't tell you if taking medication is the right choice for you. What I can do is provide you with some information to help you decide for yourself. The first thing you need to know is that there's a certain amount of feel-good chemicals we need in our bodies and brains in order to manage our day-to-day -day lives. And how much of those feel-good chemicals we have at baseline depends on four things. First, our genetics, what we inherit from mom and dad. So people with a strong family history of mental illness are going to have lower rates of those feel-good chemicals at baseline compared to families who don't. Number two are our early life experiences, which teach us if the world and people are safe or if they're dangerous. And not surprisingly, if we learn that the world is a dangerous place, that's going to eat away at those feel-good chemicals that we have available to us. Number three are stressors. For those of you who watched our video on the five things we need to be well, which is based on the stamp wellness model, you know that when we have safety, tribe, a reason to get up in the morning, and something we feel good at, meaning, and a sense of play, the more of those we have, the more protected we are against life's ups and downs. The fewer of them we have, the more vulnerable we are to the ill effects of these things in our lives. Lastly, coping skills. Our coping skills are strongly influenced by our survival maps, and it really is the ways that we learn to manage all of the emotions and things that are going on in our lives. If I'm someone who learned to turn to alcohol or overeating or self-sabotaging behaviors, that's going to decrease those levels of feel-good chemicals I have available to me, opposed to someone who uses exercise or reaching out to people. It's important to note that we have no control over our genetics or our early life experiences. We don't get to choose those things. We often have very little control over the stressors that are going on in our lives, especially things like unexpected job loss or health issues. This means that the place that we have the most influence, where we get to affect those levels of feel-good chemicals, is going to be through our coping skills. So if you're doing everything that you can to set yourself up for success, so that means that you're making sure you're eating well, you're sleeping well, you're exercising, socializing with healthy people who are encouraging and supportive, talking kindly to yourself, and practicing gratitude, if you're doing these things on a regular basis and focusing on the things that you can control as opposed to the things that you can't, and you're still struggling with your function, if depression and anxiety symptoms are still getting in the way, or if you're doing everything that you can and despite your best efforts you just can't make yourself do these things on a regular basis, then it's time to talk to your doctor. Find out if medication is a good choice for you. And remember that medications are only part of the solution, because if we really want to set ourselves up to live our best possible life, then we need to address any unresolved early life experiences and unhealthy coping mechanisms that might be using up some of those feel-good chemicals that we do have available to us. So go talk to your doctor, get a good therapist, and go live your epic life. For more information, check out our other videos or connect with us through social media. Take care.